I think we have young Mr. Ducey uh, with <laughs> us right now. You heard Dana's comments and everyone's comments, Peter. Have you been called by the White House or the president and asked for to come to the Oval Office tomorrow for an interview? <laughs> no, no. And I don't think that that's coming either. Um, but what's crazy about this is I, in the longer version of the clip, there was a group of reporters that were all gathered. We listened to him explain the Competition Council, which is the reason that he's having this meeting with most of the cabinet. And somebody shouted out a question about Russia, and the president said, I'm not going to take questions right now about anything off topic. So I shouted out uh, something that's not on my two pages of questions about crime. Uh, OK, <laughs> what about inflation? Do you think inflation is a political liability? in the midterms and then he said that and I couldn't even hear him because people were shouting at us to get out but somebody came up to me in the briefing room a few minutes later and said did you hear what the president <laughs> said and I said no what they said he called you a stupid SOB and I said did he say SOB and the person said no <laughs> <laughs> he did the elongated version you know. Prime time. Uh, yep. So, Ducey, I think the president's right. You are a stupid <laughs> SOB. <laughs> yeah, nobody has fact-checked him yet and said it's not true. <laughs> no one's given Pinocchios for that one. No, but so you're now, I guess, everyone's talking about you. You're going to be known as the stupid SOB guy. I mean, before you were like the, the hair guy with the blonde hair. Now you're, now you're stupid SOB. Is this something you're embracing, Peter? Do I have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I think you just have to walk around for the rest of your career as the stupid SOB. Aww. No, but it, it is something great that you were called a name by a president. Yeah. I mean, that's something that you're that will yeah. be in the history books. Yeah, I think that if Peter, we still have them. <laughs> and Peter, you might already have like a book title. Yes. Right. Um, uh, or a chapter title at least. I do have a question. This happened last week with Jackie Heinrich. Happen again today. Like, what, is, is there something going on at the White House where there's more press availabilities that you're getting these hot mic moments, or is there just a lot of pressure because of everything that's going on? What do you do? You notice anything different? Well, you know, the White House and the communications officials here had been signaling last week when they had their first year in office anniversary that they were going to take a different approach with reporters. And we thought that that meant uh, <laughs> after he did the two hour press conference, oh, well, he's just going to be available for Q&A more often. Uh, but maybe it's more stuff like this. <laughs> Might be. Well, well it's, it's good that you can smile. Well, if I don't smile, I'm just going to be a ball of tears, and I can't because I have to do a hit with Brett Baer in 10 minutes. So. <laughs> All right, Peter. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.